So hello guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Timmy and uh, let's uh, do a quick one here on the Druid. Uh, people ask me, okay, how to set it up now. Let's talk a bit uh, from all these points of view. So the Druid is more or less the same like the world boss. So what's the most important thing about the Druid is you have to read the skills. Yeah, You have to, some have two, some have, have three icons. So let's read and try to understand. This is uh, crucial. You have to understand what are the requirements in order to hit even harder. So this one says, whenever you're going to quit, the damage is going to be uh, increased by 300%. That's a good thing. And the second one, uh, you're going to see here, okay, um, he has to be hit with two different special effects. I will explain this in a second, the special effect, but let's go and find uh, one with a different. Uh, let's see this, for example. It says right here, you have to hit with the army. So you want to push your results. You have to read this tool. So this one says you must hit him with the army. Now we have also bigger ones, which uh, actually even ask, like this one, <clears throat> uh, which actually asks you to hit him with two different, with sorry, with three different special effects. What are these special effects? Let's have a look. So the special effects, if you go into your base, you're looking for this tower right here, special effect research center. So if we go here, we go to the element switcher. Now here, pay attention, please. Uh, these are set like this, especially for the Druid. I'm not hitting the Druid since like one year now. Um, but the tactic is as follow. You see me, the tanks has the laser, then the Navy has this uh, plasma, and you see the Air Force has that uh, bomb thing, explo explosion, yeah? So this is meant by that. So pay attention, please do not do like this, for example, when you have a Druid which requires three effects, it requires to have three different unit types. So if you use it like this right now, you are not gonna get the bonus attack. So that being said, we switch it back to the bomb. Let's see how we set up the march. So let's cover first the formation. And for that, um, let's assume we are attacking a Druid, which actually requires us to use three types of units. So let's uh, try that. So, uh, we're going to talk about the components and um, let's see how I would set it up. Now, I'm very sure some of you guys are going to correct me on this one. There are multiple ways of doing it. I was doing it like this. So for that, let's assume we want to hit with the tanks. Let's assume uh, either the Druid would like to be hit with the tanks to get the maximum damage or it actually doesn't matter. So you can choose whatever units you want. So in this case, let's, for example, let's choose the tanks. Um, for that, I have put on set on slot. I'm going to put on slot number um, eight. I'm going to put planes, for example, and on slot number nine, I'm going to put navy. So uh, what's going to happen? You're going to see later on the components. Basically, the slot number um, eight and number nine is going to hit first. So first slot number eight, then slot number nine, and then slot number one. So this is more or less how I set it up. Now let's jump to the components and please correct me if you have a better uh, formation, please. You know, you guys know how to do it in the comments with X and zeros. So please correct me on this one. Let's jump to the components, please. Now, when we uh, do that, um, I have uh, for three units, uh, for when using three units type, uh, I'm using this setup. So uh, the tanks are the main damage, yeah? So therefore, uh, we're going to have the extra critical damage. We're going to have the extra extra critical buff. We're going to keep these two, of course, uh, the, this one and uh, this one, the damage increase and the weapon buff, of course. And we're going to use on top this uh, actually hit rate. So this actually increases the chances that you don't dodge, so you do more damage. But on uh, for the Navy and for the planes, we're going to slightly use something different because we want to control a bit this effect. So therefore, we need to use a high fire rate. Tanks will not use that. So therefore, my planes and the Navy will going to hit first and then the tanks because the tanks doesn't have a high fire rate. So one last thing we have to talk about is what kind of skills you're going to use on these three heroes or what you're going to use in your march. And of course, you can keep all these skills, but take this one off. You don't need it. You don't need the damage reduction, but you're going to use something else. So you use this, the um, extra damage uh, from, so whenever you're, you're quitting, the damage was actually going to get 12.5% higher, or in your case, maybe a bit lower, maybe a bit higher. It's either this, or you can put, of course, the 
rare attack. So that you can you can use that or the other one depends how you, what you have. Keep of course keep the damage uh, damage increase. So let's cover the last thing. So uh, just for the sake of covering pretty much everything. So if we're talking about druids like this, this is the type of druid. For example, if you click on this uh, skill here, it says basically, if you crit. The damage we're gonna get 300%. This actually means that it doesn't matter what kind of uh, units you're gonna use. Yeah, you can use may, you can use navy, you can use tanks with planes. Doesn't matter. And for this case, you actually can use all unit uh, types, whatever you like. But we want to talk about this very very fast. So it tells you hit me please with two um, different effects. So for that, we're gonna jump directly very fast in the formation. And I'm going to show you my formation again. This formation may be corrected by uh, my our fellow subscribers here on the channel. So what, what I would do is basically, uh, of course, you can use uh, Valhalla on these guys. I would use, uh, for example, I think an, like this. So what's going to happen? You can keep this exactly the same components because it's going to work. We just don't have planes in this uh, build. So what's going to happen? The um, the navy was going to hit first from slot number nine. After that, the tanks are starting to hit. That being said, I hope I answered all your questions. If you still have questions, please um, um, ask them in the comments. And guys, please correct me on the formation. Uh, I'm a bit rusty since I haven't played this for a long while. I'm leaving this up to the free-to-play players and low spenders so they can get the rewards, which I do not need. Have a great one, guys.